Waking up in a strange place. That's the story for thousands displaced by raging wildfires. For refugees recently arrived from Syria, the feeling is all too familiar. This couple doesn't want to be identified, afraid of endangering family back home. They'd just settled in Fort McMurray two months ago and were separated from their grandchildren during the evacuation. It was a difficult moment because all that crossed our mind was the war back home. We did our best not to leave that house because we didn't want to live the same experience of going one place to another. But we had no choice because all the smoke was in the area. They're staying in an unfurnished home provided by a mosque right across the street, which is helping three Syrian refugee families from Fort McMurray, as well as others displaced by the fires. Like so many places of worship all across Canada, the Al Rashid Mosque has stepped in to help evacuees who've left their homes and possessions behind. So far, they've assisted about 150 people with things like food and shelter, but the Syrian refugees need even more. More than the toiletries that volunteers are distributing or the clothing and books that have been donated. They need special help. Like, I mean, for example, like moving around, they, they can't drive, they don't drive, they don't move around, they don't know how to speak English. So you have to figure everything out for them and help them with everything that they want. The refugees say they've been overwhelmed by the kindness of Canadians ever since they've arrived. We feel we are in a good country. They are taking good care of us. There is a system. Hopefully things will be better. That is what so many here are praying for, that all of the evacuees can go home soon for good. Kristen Salumi, Al Jazeera, Edmonton.